Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and checking out the video. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to grease non-greasable wheel hub bearings. Uh, I did some research on how to maintain these things and it is a non-maintenance part, but with a little research I found out a way. So let me get set up and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so here it is with the tire removed, and I'm going to have to take the brake and the rotor off. The idea of what we're going to go for here to get into the, to grease the hub. So right here, this is my ABS line, and you can see it goes down and attaches into the hub bearing down there. And that's where I'm going to open it up and get some grease in. Another option is this vacuum line here. This is what uh, engages the automatic uh, uh, locking hubs. To, uh, it creates a vacuum. So that's another way to get some lubricant down inside the knuckle. But I'm not sure that that would really get to the innards of the, uh, of the uh, hub bearing too much. So once I get the rotor off, we'll have a better idea. So I took the whole brake assembly off. Um, zip tied it up here so it's out of the way. I said I just rebuilt this entire front end last summer, so everything's coming off pretty easy. What I'm going to do is put a bucket under here and clean everything up. Great clean, really good. So here's the ABS line coming in. And you see it comes right by that dust shield there. We're gonna pop that off. I just wanna make sure it's super clean because I don't want any rust or crud or any junk to fall inside. But this is this is gonna be the key, getting some grease right into there. Spray a little brake clean in there. Crack that loose. There we go. Nothing seized up yet. And if I didn't mention it, I'm working on a uh, 2008 F250. It's a 6.4 liter diesel. FX4 four wheel drive. Okay, there it's coming up nice. Before I pull it out, blast under there again. See this this tab is holding it up a little bit. Okay, so you see that's nice and greased. I'm gonna keep that just off to the side so it doesn't pick up any nastiness. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it is spinning good. Let me see if I get the camera in there. Get some light on there. So you can see right down in that hole. The one on the right hand side is the uh, is the opening. The other one's the thread bolt. So you see, you can see, you can see some movement in there. So you can see as I rotate the hub. See as I rotate the hub. You can see the innards. So we're gonna squirt some grease right in there. All right, so I just got this little needle grease gun. I filled it up with some uh, Mobile One Synthetic. And uh, I'm just gonna start squeezing some in there. As I do it, we'll rotate it. Couple pumps. Work it in there. All right, now it doesn't seem like it's falling in and grabbing, which I had a feeling might happen. So I'm gonna show you another little toy that I bought. So I got this little adapter. It's from uh, Riff Raff Diesel. 
read about it online and it's meant exactly for this. What it is, after you pull the ABS line out, you put that right in, into there. Let it seat in there. All right, so we're just gonna thread that back in. Boom. Now we have a grease fitting to get some grease in there. And I'm just gonna take a mini grease gun, fit it right onto the fitting. The reason I wanted to try it the other way first was because I wanted to see how much, this isn't like a uh, conventional grease fitting where as you squeeze it in, it's gonna start coming out somewhere. There's nowhere to come out. But at least now I know I'm forcing it down into the bearings. And that's all there is to it. We'll remove the set screw again. Now I rotated the hub the whole time while I was while I was getting grease in there until I felt it get a little bit firm on me, indicating that it uh that it was packed pretty good. So, remove the riff raft apparatus, take our ABS, slip it back in, make sure that this hose is underneath where it belongs. Push it down till it seats, and then put the set screw back in. And now I know that this hub is well lubricated and hopefully no more failures. Now when I bought them, they did come pre-greased. So I just installed them as is, but that was about a year and a half ago and I'm coming up to the winter and I wanna make sure that everything is working proper here. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to try one other thing while I'm in here. This is, uh, remember I said you could get some lubricant in through the vacuum line here too. So let's pop that off a second. And if you could have seen pictures when this hub assembly was disconnected and the knuckle was all by itself, you would understand where this little vacuum hole goes. If you're looking on the inside of the, uh, of the knuckle when the, when the entire um, hub assembly is removed, you'll see there's a little pinhole that comes right out the other side. Now the axle seal sits on this side over here. Then there's a hole there, and then the hub goes in. So there's a little gap in between the rubber seal, that big rubber seal that you need that special tool if you've seen on other videos how you install it. And then there's a little gap where the whole hub assembly goes in, and that's what creates the vacuum. So we could get some oil down in here. Now this is a little trick that I got off the internet from good old Bill Hewitt at, uh, powerstrokehelp.com but he said you could oil up a little bit in there which makes sense because it'll get that whole inside of that hub assembly in front of the seal now he was using this arch oil firearms oil stuff he said you could use any oil he kept stressing that it's important that it has a penetrant i'm like you know what he's using it let me try it i got it good for high temperatures it says it has uh you know crud uh you know, breakdown crud and stuff like that so we're just gonna Get that in there. I may have to turn this wheel assembly a bit. All right, so I turn the wheel around and, and try to squirt some of this right in. Uh, I do not know how he did this because this is the tiniest little hole. I don't see how anything is going to drip into there. I mean, I could take the fitting off here, but 
this is the vacuum uh this is the vacuum line that engages the automatic four-wheel drive so i don't want to mess with taking that off and i'll be honest i'm not sure how much is getting in there i changed my mind i decided to see if it cracked open easy and it did if i felt like i was going to snap anything off i would let well enough be but this seems to after giving it one little tug and breaking the little bit of paint that was on there. Doesn't look like there's any thread locker on there either. All right, good. Now I can definitely get a couple squirts of this, this gun oil in there. Right. Good, two nice squirts. And give it another one for good measure. And these parts are going to be nice and slick now. Well, there you have it. Now I've shown you two different ways to get inside this hub assembly and the knuckle assembly to service your non serviceable. <laughs> to service your non-serviceable wheel bearings. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, if this helped you out, it gave you some good ideas, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other suggestions, anything else you would have done, please let me know or share experiences with other hub problems you've had on these Ford trucks. Thanks for watching.